What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another video. So, I'm doing another Coach Lee cover. Um, let's get to it. Fuck it. Oh, co coaching's down below and all that shit. And um, if you guys want me to react to a specific breakup video, put it in the description, not description, sorry. Put it in the comment section down below. Just a link. If YouTube doesn't allow you to for some reason, which I, maybe they might be, um, just say, you know, uh, YouTube isn't letting me, uh, I, I'll email you something like that or or just email me. It's in, it's in the description box below. Um, I think they'll let you, um, but I think you have to write something first. So anyway, because I think people, YouTube's trying to prevent just spam links. So I think you have to write something first, like, hey, Kyle, react to this video, please, and then put it down below and uh, whatever. Okay, so go from there. Okay, this video is extremely quiet from his end. Um, Please take a second and subscribe to my channel. So, <laughs> I don't really have a way of boosting this, so you guys are going to have to listen uh, extra careful. Crank it up. But uh, um, I think this video is old. It's 2018, so um, he's definitely upped his uh, quality game by then. So, anyway, let's continue. I'll put, uh, I'll put the captions on, too. There we go. Channel. That way you can be updated whenever I have new content that's helpful for you. So should you block your ex on social media if you want to get them back? And that's what I'm assuming is that you want to get your ex back. So sometimes people might think that if they block their ex on social media, that it will send a strong message to them. You know, I blocked her on Facebook, so now she knows that I don't want to mess around and I'm not interested in flirting with her or talking with her or communicating with her, and therefore she'll want to get back together with me. That's I actually made a video about that already. Um, blocking, unblocking, and no contact, something like that. But uh, I already made uh, my own video, but... Um, again, if you look over here at this chart, okay, you're going to see what the force section says and the power section says you blocking is a lot of, most people are going to block because they're like, I'm going to get a rise out of the person. I'm going to get a reaction from them, especially people that go and pose with pretty women and put it on uh, Instagram thinking that's going to do anything. The right, like a, a woman that's got a decent mind is going to go, uh, really bro. Like they're going to know what you're doing. They're not dumb. So, uh, use that information wisely. The answer is that, no, I don't recommend you block your ex on social media, unless you don't want to get back together with them. If you don't, that's fine. But again, I'm operating under the assumption that you want to get your ex back. So there's several reasons why you should not block your ex on social media. One reason is because it makes you look kind of petty. It even looks like you might be trying to manipulate them. Some exes are pretty smart and they've been in other breakups before and they might think oh yeah she's just blocking me or he's just blocking me to send a message to try to say oh I don't need you anymore I don't want to talk to you that's not good you don't want to look like you're trying to send a message or that you're just being petty because you're mad there's no need in that and really you don't want your ex to think that they got to you so much that you had to go to all that effort to block them on social media Right. people who are high value and who are attractive people don't have time for that kind of thing I mean, it's just not something that's worth your effort to block your ex on social media. Another reason you don't want to block your ex on social media is because it's helpful if they can see you, if they see your picture every now and then. It's a good reminder. It's a good way to bring back memories and that kind of thing. Also, that's a good one because if they see you, especially if you posted beforehand, right? If you posted beforehand, it's cool because it's something that you already did. But if you're, you know, just beginning to start posting and you're like, you know, doing all that goofy shit, don't do that. Okay. You can post once in a while, post maybe that you're in the gym, right? And continue to do it. Make sure you're consistent with it. But, you know, it's got to be something that's now part of your lifestyle. And again, if you're going through a breakup, you should be in the gym every single day. You should be pushing heavy weights around. So you're going to, it's going to help if they, at their um, choice, see you. And if you just block them or delete them, right. With some, and sometimes I get some of you guys want to do that because you guys can't control yourselves. So, but you can un, un, uh, you can mute them. Okay. But you have to have the emotional self-control to stop reaching out. You really do. And if you don't, this is the test. You have to start getting exercising that muscle because it's a muscle. Okay. And you'll get stronger by doing it. So there is 
a good idea. There, you can do it, but honestly, guys, I would focus heavily just on yourselves and getting back up to the power section of your life. So, you know, getting to accept, accepting the breakup, right? Getting neutral about the breakup is obviously a first step before acceptance, but, or, but you're going to feel days where you do feel like, you know, you're accepting the breakup and that you're reaching these levels. But a lot of the times you guys are still down here, fearful, right? Trying to get them to reach out to you because you want them to hurt like, like, like they hurt you. I see that a lot. So anyway, let's continue. breakup has not just devastated you and made you give up on your dreams and goals and other relationships. So it's a great way to just show a happy face. Now, you shouldn't overuse that as well, and you should probably wait a little bit of time anyway after the breakup. I wouldn't recommend the day after that you show you're out at a party and that you're just really lighting the place up and excited <laughs> and having an epic time because, again, that looks fake. And your ex might even think, well, gee, if they're not a little bit hurt following the breakup, then they probably didn't care about me at all to begin with. Exactly. So that way. While I always talk about showing strength, and maturity, and wisdom, and the will to move on, and just being passionate about life, that does not mean that you act like after this breakup, you're just going to go out and celebrate. That doesn't make sense, and that's overdoing it. There's a difference in being hurt by the breakup, but choosing to move on, choosing to be happy, and choosing to continue your life in a way that goes toward your goals. There's a difference between that and acting as though the breakup didn't even phase you show strength by admitting that it hurts if necessary that's why one of the things i tell people is when you're broken up it's okay to give a little bit of pushback it's okay to say let me know if you change your mind usually though a simple text message that i recommend after a breakup is just saying okay i wish you the best if it's after a big discussion with your ex it's okay to give a little pushback and say i disagree but i understand and respect your decision and so that's why you don't want to act like the breakup doesn't hurt you. At least give it some time. Usually I recommend about a week before you start posting pictures of you being out with friends. I said friends there. Don't use social media to post pictures of you with potential romantic partners. Hmm. That just looks petty. It looks like you're trying to manipulate your ex or make them jealous. And if it doesn't do that, your ex is going to think, really? Only a week They're going to see through it. They're going to see right through it. Week or only two days or whatever, and they're already out with potential new romantic partners. That makes you look shallow. So give it time. Usually, I would even say wait a couple of months before you put pictures of you with potential romantic partners on social media. But social media can be a, a tool in showing your ex that you're strong and that you will move on with life and that good things are happening in your life and that you're recognizing them. You can also use social media to see if your ex is with someone new. Now, I'm certainly not encouraging you to stalk your ex on social media or to watch it and go to their, their page daily and looking and see what they're doing and just drive yourself crazy that way. That's not a good thing. It's not good for you to do. What I'm suggesting is that if there became a point where you decided that your ex has probably moved on, and usually that's a lot longer in terms of the time than most people think or consider, usually it will take several months before that's the case. Mm. Even if they're in a rebound relationship, it doesn't mean that they've moved on. Even if there was somebody else. Who knows what we really want at times, right? Sometimes you're confused. Sometimes you're just taking it day to day. So don't assume your ex has moved on. But at some point, three, four, five months down the road, it's safe to assume that your ex is not going to reach out to you. Now, I have talked to clients whose ex has reached out to them six months, two years, three years later, even five years later. So I haven't seen five years. I haven't seen two years, but I've seen over a year before. Um, I've seen I, the, the next three days, right? They start doing coaching with me and three days later, they're like, hey, uh, I fucked up seen that happen before i've seen it all but not not two years not five years so Co well, coach lee apparently has been doing this since he was 12 so um you know so it does happen but what i'm saying is is that at this point you probably don't hurt yourself by reaching out to them or at least you can consider it and so you can use social media especially facebook to see if they've changed their relationship status if they're still single that's good to know right in making your decision so that's why you should not block your ex on social media because you can use social media to show them that you're able to move on with your life and that good things are happening and to remind them of what a wonderful person you are and how you're strong and passionate. And you can also use social media to keep a check on your ex. And again, I say that with caution. 
I'm not talking about a daily thing where you obsess over it and it just stifles any progress you might make to getting over the, the breakup or to make it more difficult in your effort to do no contact. What I'm saying is, is after a few months or maybe once a month or something like that, yes, I get it, you want to do it, you probably already have, it's okay to check to see if they've changed their relationship status. I get it, maybe you do wanna look at them. I don't recommend going to the page, going to their Facebook page or their Instagram and just looking and driving yourself down and making yourself hurt. That's yeah, I see a lot of guys do that. And they, that's why they wanna think that blocking is okay. They're like, oh, is it okay for, you know, should I block her, should I block her? I'm like, why? Right, but I get it because it's going to be hard for you guys to control yourself sometimes. But you have to exercise your emotional self control. That's how you're going to get better at this over here on the right. Okay, you're going to start, you know, because you so badly want to control things, and that's where fear comes from. Right. So when you're fearful, when you're acting from a fearful state, this is one of the worst places that you can be because you're going to have so many thoughts running through your head that don't don't even make sense. That's why, like, when you do coaching with myself or coach Lee or whoever, we are looking at the situation without your emotional uh, intensity attached to it. So when you ask questions and usually we get the same sort of questions over and over again, it's the same thing. And uh, we normally will go, why would you think that? You know what I mean? Like we're, we're trying to ground you because you're floating fucking going all over the place. And we're like, yo, relax, calm down because you're, you're, you're creating see what you think about is what you fear you attract right and what you think about you're going to attract to your life the more you think about that thing and work towards it it's going to appear the universe moves out of the way to give you what you want but you have to have believe that you can do it first of all um and a lot of you guys are gonna be like i believe that i can get my ex back no that's not what i mean you have to believe that it that it, certain things can be done outside of controlling somebody else. So if you want to create a big business, you can do it. You just have to do the actions every day necessary and give the right energy to do so. But you have to believe in it first, then take the actions towards it. So the one thing you can control is you and what you bring to the table to relationships, what you bring to the table to this world, what you, you know, what you do every day. That's what you can control. That way, when you're a better version of yourself that way, then the people that are here, see, when you step out of orange and go to green and from green to blue and then blue to purple, you're going to bounce between some of these things just day to day living your life. Like you're not always going to be happy. You're not always going to be um, fearless. There's going to be times where you have some fear going on in you. But courage is about facing that fear and going forward anyways. And then you get back to this place. The, you're not going to like if, if somebody's in orange more often, let's say 80% of the time and somebody's in, uh, let's ask Reddit shit. Somebody's in, uh, um, like orange all the time and somebody's in purple, right? These two people, they might find each other physically attractive, but they're opposites, right? Opposites attract and then irritate, right? I've seen that. I've seen that comment in my, um, in my YouTube channels before, right? It's true, but but you're not you're, you're in here from blue to purple this can these two can stay together right because one is going to you know this person that's in blue let's say they're only in blue right just for the argument's sake and this person's only in purple they have nowhere else to go but but stay here this person's naturally going to look at this person and go hmm like i can learn from them because they're already accepting and you know they have reason they're willing right but people down here need to go here first and then here. So what I'm saying is you you attract what you are and what you become. So if you become a better version of you, if you become stronger and smarter and you know more strategic about your life and you start focusing on your purpose and your mission, okay, relationships will fall into place where they need to be. You still do need to learn about attraction. You still need to know how that works, what to say to women, what to not say to women. And for ladies, what to say to men and what not to say. Because a lot of ladies are watching a lot of content from men giving advice to other men and then ladies are applying that advice to women feminine energy is one thing and masculine energy is another a lot of women will will straight up just ignore people through text and shit like that and and start acting like a man and that's not what you guys need to be doing feminine energy is about bonding and connecting and there's nothing wrong with that yes like yes it's okay to put out your your text because you're like i really miss this guy Okay, and if he's purpose driven and purpose focused, he's gonna be happy. He's gonna be like, oh my God, I'm so happy to hear from you. You know, as long as he's doing it correctly and this sets a date with you. And then you guys can, you know, bond and connect and then you guys can, you know, smack. So 
Anyway, let's finish up the video and then uh, we'll wrap this up. Not a good thing. It will make you more likely to break no contact or to just feel bad. What I'm saying is, is that at the appropriate time, it might be good for gathering some information to see if you should reach out. Because at some point, and that, that point is at a much later date than most people think, usually. I agree. If they, to reach out, if they were in a relationship, it just would not make sense. So that's why you should not block your ex on social media. If this video has been helpful to you, please click the like button below. And also, please subscribe to my channel so that you can get updated when I have new content like this that can help you. And if you want to schedule a coaching call with me so that we can put together a plan to get your ex back, visit myexbackcoach.com. This has been Lee with myexbackcoach.com. Thanks for watching. So obviously, the, the, the sound in this is low. And I'm sure he got... I'm sure he got it in the in the comment section. But uh, here's a good here's a good thing I I blocked for me not for them. That's a good um, that's a good thing to understand. But I think you should still try to try to um, control yourself and and practice emotional self control. Move on, block them. You'll you'll feel better. Don't. Um, this this girl says I disagree with this video and think you should block on social media. What if your ex is needy or narcissist? And my ex says, unless you block, they might show up and people may know. They might show up in the people you may know tool or appear somewhere else on your pages. I just, I didn't just block my, stay off social media is my, is my thing. Okay. That's what I would do. That's what I have done in the past before. So, um, um, but again, if you can't control yourself and you consistently try to continue to reach out to them, over and over and over and over and over again you're gonna have you're, you're gonna have a harder time staying away from them so what i would do is i would focus on um on stay off social media first if you can't do that then okay unfollow unfollow and mute you know don't get any notifications because I know that during this breakup period, you're probably going to be hanging out on social media a lot because you're bored or whatever. But um, guys, just just work on this. Sedona method, letting go, read these books, apply them to your life, and start looking at the world. I, I, look, I don't want to tell you, oh, start looking at the world through this lens only. Apply what you guys know. You guys are human beings. You guys can think for yourselves. But I promise you, if you start giving this a chance, okay, because this isn't the only lens I look through my world in, but I use this as a tool, okay? So take that with what you will. Coaching is down below. Uh, if you want coaching with Lee, uh, Coach Lee, do it. It's on his uh, thing right there. It's right there. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Done.